when the Senate President Gosri Lakbabio says Ozodimba's victory is as a result of the work he has done and how much support he has for the people. Hold on. What do you think he is trying to do with that statement? Uh, well, it's, it's what any party chieftain will do to uh, provide legitimacy uh, for a fellow party man who has uh, successfully undergone an electoral process. But uh, th this is Nigeria, and if you understand Nigeria very well, uh, sitting governors hardly, hardly lose elections in Nigeria. And so, um, despite all of the issues that w that was uh, that uh, went on before the elections, I I I was uh, I was uh, of the opinion that the governor will retain his his seat because this is this is what has happened all over Nigeria. Whether it's a small political party, whether it's uh, uh, a minor party, as long as he's the governor in that state, um, it, it has always been the the outcome that the governor, the sitting governor usually, very usually retains his uh, seat as, as, as the governor of the state. And so I, I wasn't very surprised. Um, I, I'm not too surprised about uh, the city president trying to confer legitimacy on, on, on the process that led to uh, the re-election re of the governor. Um, we have heard, I've read news, I've, I've followed the, the processes, I've heard all, most of the complaints, um, and I think that uh, um, I, I'm not sure on what part of the learning curve we are on, where we are actually, whether we've moved from where we were yesterday to where we are somewhere close to where we're going to, or we've moved backwards, uh, but it will appear that um, uh, the the issues there are, are a bit uh, difficult to you know explain given the uh, uh, resistance coming from different uh, political groups and from 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 people around uh, Imo State. Uh, I hope that uh, this time that the gladiators, uh, the opposition parties, did their homework properly. They got the evidence that they will require to show that the elections were not properly conducted, and the, those evidence have been, are being, as, as we speak, being properly put together, so that when we get to court, uh, we've seen we've seen people lose elections in in court, uh, which is which is which is bad, which is wrong, that we are now allowing the courts to uh, choose our, our representatives for us instead of allowing us instead of the people, uh, but. If, if you have your evidence, if you have what you need to take to court to show that these elections were not substantially in accordance with the Electoral Act, um, you should keep them. This is, I think this is for me, this is my, my, my lesson from the general election and this off-cycle election. I, I listened to the former president, uh, good luck Jonathan, who yeah. said, look, um, in fact, off-cycle elections should be done away with. It's because it's a bit uh, difficult given the fact that everybody pours their whole entire life, their effort into trying to ensure that they keep hold of what they have. So I, I, I hope that the opposition parties have all of their I's dotted and their T's crossed and they, they, they took the time to get the evidence that they require to show that the process was not uh, as, as, as uh, expected right. within the framework of the law.